In the last video, we placed some chairs down here in the little corridor lead up into the reception area. What we're going to look at now is converting these two desks here into one single workstation. Now, all of our blocks are on layer zero at the moment, and we're going to convert them to the appropriate layers as we work through this exercise. So I've got the drawing workstations complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to have open workstations.dwg from your working files. You'll also notice that I've set the drawing to the SP furniture layer. So make sure that that is the current layer that you're using. Now, what I'm going to do is select these three chairs just quickly, go to the layer pull down because they're on layer zero, and select SP furniture like so. Now, you will notice that the layer list went off the screen there. That's because we've got a lot of layers now, and I don't have a lot of screen real estate. You're probably running AutoCAD on a much bigger screen than I am, a bigger resolution, so that layer list won't go off the screen. So I'll just hit Escape there to deselect those small chairs. Now, because our little blocks here, our desks, are on layer zero right now, if I hover over that, it's on layer zero. When I convert that to a block, even though it is already a block, because I've got SP Furniture as the current layer, it'll put that block onto the SP Furniture layer. That's because I'm using layer zero. Now, what I'm going to do is take two blocks here and convert them to one block of two nested blocks. So basically, we have two nested blocks making up our workstation block. So what I do now is I go to Create here on the block panel. I'll just drag this over here so that we can see what's going on. And we're going to call it SP dash workstation one now what you might want to do there is you might want to put vertical because it's in a vertical alignment i'm not going to worry about that because it's the only block i'm going to be using now the base point of the block i would use pick point and i'd probably go for that midpoint there because then i know that i can rotate that around that midpoint at any point when i place it into the drawing so there's no way i could have calculated those x and y values i now need to select the objects that make up my new block, which is my two blocks here that are going to become nested blocks in my workstation block, and I press enter to confirm. Now I'm going to convert these straight to a block. So I use convert to block. I will scale uniformly and I will allow exploding because you might want to explode this workstation block, tweak it slightly, and make it into a different workstation block. We don't need to open in the block editor, so make sure that's unticked in the bottom left corner, and we click on OK. Can you see it changes color? Now, the chairs didn't change color because they were already a separate color in the previous block that has now become a nested block. But that's now all one block, and you'll notice it's on SP Furniture. So that's how you create your workstations in your space planning drawings in the lead up to adding furniture into your space plans.